and we are live! Hello everyone, welcome in. I am Sheppy Ships, the explosion VTuber. Right now, I uh, I was the CEO of Sheppy Ships and, and Sparks Incorporated, but now I am CBO, or Chief Bartending Officer of Sheppy Ships and Sparks Incorporated. And I am joined by my my sous chef, my my partner in crime, the dynamic duo wouldn't be with uh, the dynamic bartending duo wouldn't be the same without Tiberius. Hello, hello. I am Tiberius hello. Vanderfield. <clears throat> I haven't come up with a title for myself yet at this point, I suppose. But uh, I am Tiberius Vanderfield. That much is true. Incredible. Bam. Fantastic. And uh, you were on a little vacation, weren't you? I sure was. Did you uh, put in? Did you put in your PTO for that? Uh, I did not. Ah, so it's unpaid. Ah, that's, yep. I'm gonna have to write you up for that. I'm gonna have to write you up for that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to give you a fat pink slip soon if you like. If that work ethic doesn't improve, Mister. <laughs> Unfortunately, the at the job I work, I do not get time off, or rather, I do uh, not that... get time off. <laughs> Oh, Fruit Rat, how you doing? Welcome in. See, Fruit Rat gets unlimited time off because mm -hmm. they don't. He doesn't work for me, so uh, lucky enough. her. Um, but yeah, you were on vacation. Where'd you go? I sure was. Uh, I was in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, Pacific Northwest. Yeah, was that like the Seattle, like the Washington, Oregon area? Yep, broadly speaking, yes. Nice, very good. Be uh, visiting family. Yes, I was mostly there for mostly there just for the the sights and whatnot. I see, and you were silent my entire time. Make sure I'm not silent either. Ah, uh, you shouldn't be. You look you look very not silent on my end. Well, I am a silent protagonist, so. Uh, hmm. you, you, but Sparks you, is pretty hard for. Yeah, Sparks is very loud and annoying. Uh, and uh, yeah, sh uh, Sparks is telling me right now that he's. He's going to smack me in the back of the head when I least expect it later. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to that. Um, so yeah, well, you said you were look. What you say you were looking uh, visiting, just visiting family, or what were you doing up there? Oh yeah. So I got to I got to have quite the adventure, as I as I said on my last stream. Yeah, I <laughs> I, I climbed over dunes, I scaled mountains, I went into a cave, I uh, I rode a horse. Oh, uh, I chopped wood, and I, I saw a movie, which is perhaps the most remarkable part of all this. No, 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 no. That th that has to be the least remarkable thing. That that it's all pretty sounds... remarkable for me. <laughs> but that all sounds very interesting. I mean, climbing dunes, cutting trees. Who can say that they've was, done that? It was uh, it was like firewood. I know you 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 put logs on top of the thing and you cut it. I I I yeah. get it, but no, not everyone can say that. I just cut some wood as well for my vacation. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I'll take off my scarf because I, I I'm I'm going to assume someone wants a kiss soon, so I'm going to get ready for that. Mm -hmm. But I also went on vacation. I went to uh, I went to the Carolinas. Nice. <sighs> yes, and that was a lot of fun. I. Uh, I went to um, I went to Charleston, uh, South mm. Carolina, and uh, I sp spat on the uh, the the corpses of our uh, a rebel enemies of of days past because it mm -hmm. was fun. It was fun watching all those idiots <laughs> waving flags of losers. But that's not the only reason I went down there. I went to see some like naval like naval museums and stuff. I got to see it uh, the inside of a uh, of a World War One carrier. Um, did they and have a, in World War One? Yeah, they, huh. they did. Uh, huh. Either that or it's World War II, uh naval base. Yeah, uh, I, museum say, I, think converted, I thought they were converted into a museum. More or less a thing starting in World War II. I guess I don't know for sure because I'm not super well versed on naval history. In any case, I just saw a carrier and I got to see the inside of a, of a destroyer as well. Uh, hmm. submarine destroyer. That was really cool. They had a bunch of these huge-ass cannons. Really cool. And I got to see some Civil War uh, artillery as well. 
these nice. big ass mortar mortar cannons. Got to hug one up close. I was just ah, uh, you you were you killed a lot of people. Uh, this lovely thing, I hugged it because <laughs> they they were um they were captured uh, artillery uh, mortars and yeah, really cool, really cool to see some history like that. I walked along the um uh the walls of Fort Sumter, and that was pretty cool. Um, took some I put, took a boat ride, did some fishing. Um, nice. Yeah, did a lot of stuff. Brought the dogs with me. Yeah, went fishing. Uh, did some hiking, and uh, yeah, it was a good it was a good time. Very good time. Sounds and like I recently it. got a. I recently got a dog too, and I don't have pictures yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a I got a new dog. It's my fifth dog, and I promise it's the last one. <laughs> for now. So, for now, it's a it's a white pomeranian. It's so, nice. Very sweet. We're very sweet puppy. Very sweet puppy. All right. Um, let's get started. Indeed, we shall. All right. All right. You have no notifications or reminders. Happy New Year. May all your wishes come true and a new bountiful year filled with health and joy. Happy New Year. Hooray. I'll leave the closet open in case you want to hide from the noise. Thanks. <laughs> Are cats also scared of like loud noises like fireworks and loud banes? They certainly can be. They can be. Because I know my dogs, they, they find the nearest couch to hide under. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's like I, I, I'm sorry, puppies. There's nothing I can do about it. Ohio, my, my state of residence, uh, made it legal to do that. <laughs> Very recently, actually, they made it legal for anyone to uh, operate and own fireworks. Mm. Very big ones too. So, great. You'd think they'd be used to the sound of explosions from living with you at this point, but uh, oh well. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, it's a. We, I have some really good sound dampening systems installed. Ah, gotcha. Uh, and uh, from the outside world, due to the, the cloaking device that I use to hide from everyone else, okay. I, my mere presence uh, bends reality, and I don't. I don't want to risk that kind of paradox uh, infecting <laughs> the uh, normal normalcy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My very existence is a, a fuck to God. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got some new notifications from Augmented Eye. Indeed we do. Oh. Oh, the Augmented Eye is down for maintenance. Sorry for inconvenience. All right. The news today uh, is that there's no news. The news today is that there's no news, and that's probably good news. If there's no probably. news, that means it's good news. All right. Uh, we have nothing else to do but go to work. Basically, <laughs> yes. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Uh, uh. Well, let's see. Gil's in the back getting everything ready. I'll go grab some food I've ordered. I only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to pick it up myself. Uh. Are you all right? I'm scared. Gabby will show up at any minute. Relax, everything will be all right. I can ensure you of that. Drink something. Maybe that'll cheer you up. Drink on the job? M maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, but keep your chin up. If you get through this, I'll give you, I don't know, a hug? Does that work? A, a, a hug? Nani Kudasai? Big one. A reward for everything, for after everything's said and done. You know, that's it. I, I'll take you up on that. Gotta go. You can do it. Right. Everything's fine. Been avoiding this for all of these years. Now it's time to face it head on. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Bye, might even give me a hug. I'm okay. Sit. <clears throat> um. Hello. Uh, Gabby. 
come in. Excuse me. Welcome to Valhal. Hey. Hey. You you talk first. No, I. Well. Some days ago, I got a letter. And even odder than getting a letter is the fact that it was from your sister. Oh, what? My sister sent you a letter? That's the first I've heard of it. What did it say? I don't know. I never opened it. At least not until now. Huh? And I figured I should read it with you. Yeah, let's do it. Let's read it. All right, then. I don't know who's voicing the ex-girlfriend who died. I can. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Just, just that? Yep. Isn't there anything else in the letter? Maybe on the back? This is just like your sister. I spent days worried about this letter. I wanted to open it for fear of what it might contain. I lost sleep and appetite thinking about it. And after all these worries, after all these problems, after all these years not talking to her, she sends me a letter. A fucking letter of all things. She just says sorry? Sorry for what? For our fight? Not talking after all these years? Ah, now I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> are, are you laughing? <laughs> sorry, I just... <laughs> I remembered all the times that my sis provoked you that way. Like that time where she gave you chocolates labeled 1, 2, and 4 during Valentine's Day. You were mad about the lack of a 3. Or that time you left an unopened beer bottle on the table and she sneakily opened it and took a sip. She didn't tell you that she did it and you were confused all day long. She always bragged she knew me like the back of her hand. If the letter was supposed to piss me off like that. I guess she had all the rights to brag. Maybe she was being sincere, though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. She did, huh? Hmm. You told me she died from localized nanomachine rejection, right? In her heart, yeah. Instead of the massive rejection that always makes the news, her case was more... Focused. A literal broken heart. They usually amputate or replace the part and call it a day. The organs are different. The condition made her susceptible to transplant rejections. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatments were out of the question. Yep. Thing is, apparently, she suffered that since she was 18, but she kept the secret from everyone. Why? How would I know? I was angry to learn that she hid it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? What was it? Wait, how did she live so normally then? She had to use a serum. Shots near her heart every three days. Apparently, the serum burns. The shot even left a nasty mark where she had to apply them. So the thing near her left breast wasn't a birthmark? And the rejection is what ended up killing her? The nanomachine rejection was what ended up killing her, but they couldn't find what made her so vulnerable. The doctor said she might have missed a shot, or the shots made her other defenses grow weaker condition could have just gone nuts out of nowhere, or maybe it was blood pressure. 
Maybe it was a regular heart attack and the rejection acted afterwards. They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone, so nobody knows. Maybe if she had told me about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Maybe she wouldn't have faced it all alone instead of just dying in her sleep. Thinking about what ifs won't bring her back. Huh? I spent so much time hammering to myself with what ifs after you told me that she died. What if I waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just walled my fears in that very moment? What if I had apologized earlier? What if I'd given a chance to research the Institute thing back then? And then I'm, that amount just increased threefold after I w lashed out at you the other day. But today I realized something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow, hollow effort. You're alive. You're here. I can make amends with you. I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her like I can apologize to you right now. Yeah. Lenore, she's... She's resting now. She's resting after having that heart condition all these years. She didn't have to face alone, though. If she only... So, let's celebrate her life and achievements. We for her to mourn, let's mourn her together. We are to honor her. We should do it together. Together. Lenore was a fun, loving person. The best we can do right now is to try to lighten up, even if it's for only for a moment. <sighs> I need to ask, though, did she really start to complain about chest pains shortly after I left? No. She didn't get visibly worse after you left everything. Everything was actually too sudden. She did complain about chest pains from time to time, but that actually goes way back before you left. Back then, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Ah, so I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then, and part of me wanted to put the blame on someone or something. You didn't deserve that. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too, you know. We both have things to apologize for. Don't think too much about it. I should have been mature and not shot at you either, so... Let's just call that on all that water under the bridge, shall we? Are you sure? Of course. Of course I am. So, how did you find me exactly? Uh, um... Well, have you heard of a message board called Danger You? Oh, God... 4chan doxed me! I have, yes. Well, truth is that I visit it from time to time. And the other day I read a thread that discussed the bar. And the description of the bartender sounded just like you. <sighs> Sit. <clears throat> uh. Sit. Are you mad? No, not mad. More like... <laughs> dumbfounded. Hey, Jill, can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Well... Back then... I didn't know what to do with myself after I graduated college. I went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. It's not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right then and there. And then after graduating, I got a very good job offer that she's accepted on my behalf on, in no time. She kept saying it was the best for me in my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't know if I wanted to go, if I wanted to go there. But she still insisted on so much. Like she was forcing that burden on me. And then my became our future, and she then started talking about marriage. You were going to get married? I 
I don't think we ever took it seriously. It was just something that she kept mentioning. Not like we didn't think about that down the line, but she mostly teased me with it. The thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. I loved her, but I don't think I was ready for such a commitment. Especially considering what she, what she did. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide such a big thing for me. I mean, she could have been really pushy from time to time. Like I said, I pretty much passed college thanks to being with her. And that was partly because she was so pushy. Even if she had the best intention, she could be... I guess abrasive from time to time, to put it lightly. And it rained on me. It rained down on me at that, that moment. She took it upon herself to make that choice for me. What if it would have stopped her once we got married? What if she suddenly decided to craft my life to her needs after marriage? I, I knew her. She would do it with thinking it was what was best for me. What about my freedom? My say on the matter? So that's where you stop loving Lenore? No, no. I never stopped loving her. Which is why it hurts so much. But you have to understand. I didn't want to wake up 40 years old and working a job I hate. Just out of routine. Getting used to it. I wanted a break from everything for a while and put my thoughts in order. Regroup myself. Think carefully about what to do next. I can understand. I've sometimes felt the same, although I'm not even in college. So that's what led you to fighting, huh? <laughs> well, no, the word fight makes it sound like we've exchanged blows or something. It's all silly when I think back at it, though. Tragically silly. Maybe I was the one who started the fight, getting all defensive about not wanting to take that offer. Perhaps I didn't overreact to her arguments about wasting this huge opportunity. Maybe she wouldn't have lashed out at me this bad. It could have been avoided if I had just kept a cool head and talked about that out with her. My sister said something like that. Huh? I told you she meant I told you she mentioned on more than one occasion how sorry she was about the whole thing, right? should have listened to her to the end, but I instead kept pushing her. I should have kept a cool head instead of letting my jealousy take the best of me. It was her offer, not mine, should have stopped projecting myself so much onto her. Something like that. Lenore. <laughs> we are quite the hotheads. You, me, my sis. You were supposed to be the mature one, you know. Play your role correctly. <laughs> but why didn't you come back, Jill? Did you end up hating us that much? Did the break include us, too? No, it's it's just that... Uh, remember when your sister was giving a class and you broke that... Uh, and you broke a window? And you didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded? My sister wouldn't have scolded you. It's not... No, you're not getting it, Gabby. I was afraid. Dead afraid. Couldn't bring myself to face your sister. I faced her back then, and I was like seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's, it's not quite the... It's not quite the same. And in perspective, no matter what reason I come up with, it will never make sense. Everything sounds very stupid when I look back, you know? Not that it makes things easier. I won't go ever to speak to her ever again. I won't ever get to speak to her ever again. And it feels bad because it's stupid. I swear, you and your and my sis were meant for one another. We both moved on after all that, but neither had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. <sighs> like I said, parading myself over these past mistakes won't bring her back. I miss her so much, though. We were together all the time, always talking about dumb stuff. I wouldn't call my parents useless, but she was the one I could always talk to. I feel her absence every day. Everything is just so... 
quiet now. She was an amazing person. Yeah. She was an amazing person. Uh huh. Morning is fine and all, but we should be celebrating her life. If she was here, she would tell us that there's no fun in sulking for so long. She told you that all the time. The same way she told you to stop rubbing things on people's faces. Both figuratively and literally. Hey, I was eight back then. So, <laughs> let's have a toast in her honor, shall we? A toast? Yeah, let me get you a drink. A, a drink? Don't worry, trust me. Uh, we gotta get this right. <laughs> we have to get this right. Sure thing. Um, also, I'm getting a little bit of... Uh, or the audio is breaking up a little bit on my end. Uh, like the, uh, the game audio. Do, do you want me to reconnect? Do you want to reconnect? Uh, we can. Okay. Uh, one second, folks. Yep. I'll be right back. Be right back. I know this is a pivotal moment. And we're about to see some events that are probably going to change the story for the for the long term. But give us a second. Yeah, I didn't want to uh, interrupt during the, the dialogue for that reason. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Okay, folks, we're, we're troubleshooting. Uh, go ahead and uh, disconnect. Sure, sure. Starting my parsec. There we go. Reconnecting. All right. See if that fixes it. All right. The audio seems to be fine, so we'll get back to the game. Oh, All righty okay, then. All righty then. We good? Uh, we should be. It sounds good. All right. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move your head down a little bit. You're kind mm. of blocking some of the um, some of the dialogue. There we go. All right. Fair enough. We need to get this right, all right? All right. I don't want to... We want true ending, right? We never played this before, but we've learned this game has multiple endings. Mm -hmm. The last time um, we had to uh, time travel to keep from losing our house. For our apartment, yes. rather. Uh, the, uh, one second. Hello, hello, Vital Vitriol. Oh, hi! Hi, Vital, how are you doing? We are peering beyond am... the veil to learn the secrets of this game. Yes. I'm totally not looking up a guide right now. Totally yes. not. Well, totally not. We are using our I'm... intuition. I'm peering which just into the to void. Be, happens to be uh, indistinguishable from looking things up currently. I'm peering into the void. I'm using my precognition skills. Uh, piano woman. Okay. I, that's what that's what the explosion gods have told me. All right, we have cast augury successfully. Yes, I I, I rolled a nat twenty. Aged and mixed. Uh, aged and mixed. Grab this. Grab this for a sec. Okay. <clears throat> Lenore, I know you're watching from beyond right now. I said, give a drink to your little sister. It's obvious to me now that we both meant to make amends at some point, but we never got around to it. I can't apologize for you anymore, but I can at the very least make you rest easier. So know that I will be looking. I will look out for your Gabby in your absence. 
I'll make sure Gabby th grows in a fine, into a fine woman, just like you were. I'll always be there for her. I'll be sure the little brat doesn't face the same problem you and I had. Hey. <laughs> Want to add anything? Um. I'll always miss her. Don't say it to me. Say it to her. That's a bit. C come on, just just this once. I'll always miss you, sis. Mm. Sis. Sis, you idiot. Why'd you keep that secret for so long? Idiot. Idiot. Baka, baka. <laughs> I always told you everything. Wasn't I enough? You <laughs> idiotic idiot. <laughs> Ah. Uh, hey, Jill, promise you, me you won't be like that knucklehead. That you won't keep stuff like that to yourself. Only if you promise the same to me. And, and promise me that we won't fight. I can't do that. Yeah? You and I are both too thick-headed. Sooner or later we'll clash in some, uh, on some opinion. But what I can promise is that I won't run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like the adults we are. I'm not an adult. Let's face it. You've been more mature than I have. <laughs> hey, did you mean what you said? That you'll look after me? I've already adopted you, little girl. I'll always be there for you, Gabby. I mean, I'm not Lenore, but... I wouldn't dare leave my little sister alone. Oh, Jill. Hey, wasn't this a toast? Right, I forgot. For Lenore, faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Cheers. Bing. Um, so... About this drink? And I... Drink it? Do you like it? Take a sip. It's not bad. Why not drink it then? You're with an adult. You might as well break the alcohol taboo here and now. Right. Now that I think back to it, didn't your sister give you beer once as a prank? Oh yeah, that. It was April Fool's. I should have known better when she offered me apple soda. <laughs> Put bubble gum on the soles of all her shoes in retaliation. Oh no! She walked funny, and my jaw hurt the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, but did you know you got my drink that time? Huh? She gave me a beer, and it turned out to be apple soda. Oh. <laughs> did you get back at her? Well... I did hide all the dildos in the house that night. Only to find out she knew how to use a cucumber. Ugh, I don't need to know that! I don't need to know that! And as a follow-up, she used that same cucumber on a solid day's little... No, no! Greetings, everyone. This is your Sheppy reminding you that this game contains sexual themes and suggestive content. Viewer discretion is advised. Indeed it does. She said, so, do you like eating me for lunch? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when you're older. Or, or never at all. Huh? Hey, hey, Gabby, do your parents know you're here? They think I'm at Clary's, actually. Who? Oh, she's my best friend at school. And this Claire knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Of course. How would she cover for me otherwise? True. Will you go to her house afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that far. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Clary doesn't live close by, so... Hmm. Well, it can't be helped. Shogunai... I'll live nearby, and the streets aren't exactly safe at night. Why not stay with me tonight? 
Are, are you sure? I don't live in a mansion, but I'd say it's comfy enough. At least to spend the night. Sure. I'd love to stay with you. Great. Hey, does your dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Yep. He opened a second branch last year. So he's looking to expand? I think he got into a partnership with a friend in Motor District. I know where I'm going to work after I get fired. <laughs> the guy saw an opportunity after realizing Motor District had almost no bakeries. I still remember when your sister introduced me to him. He started shouting, I knew it! I fucking knew you were a lesbian! Mark one for daddy! <laughs> I think he had this bet with an acquaintance of mine, of his, since since my sis was 12 years old or so. Oh my god. That's that's kind of a crude thing to do for your, with, with your children. I'm, a little I'm, bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Dad said sis was into girls. The acquaintance didn't believe him. He bet a beer on whether he was right or not. That beer bottle is still in the fridge. It's even labeled Sweet Victory. Oh my god. <laughs> your, your mom and Lenore never made up, did they? <sighs> I guess that one wasn't as simple as the said on too many things argument. Mom was always obsessed with high society, and in her circle of friends, the lesbian daughter was a no no. Oh. I'm still on my sister's side for that one, though. Mom didn't reject her because she herself was homophobic. She did it because her friends were. Well, that makes you. Yeah, I was gonna that say that doesn't. That doesn't. That makes you homophobic by association. You're still rejecting your child. Yeah. In that case. It doesn't make it doesn't make it any better. You're still a homophobe. Like just no, because. No, I want you to. Just because your friends are are, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that, that's homophobia with uh, some caution tape over it. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Mom, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. How did she react to her death? I don't know. Mom and Dad broke up two years ago. They did? They never got married, so there was no proper divorce. I haven't seen her since... August, I think. Did you two fight too? No, she just hasn't showed up. You must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. A bit, but I'm not alone anymore, thanks to you. Hmm. Jill, I'm a bit dizzy. Um, must be the alcohol. You must have low tolerance. I mean, she she is not an adult yet, so... Yes. <laughs> the, what? I did say, let's break the alcohol taboo, didn't I? Yeah, but... Don't worry. It'll pass in a bit. And let this be a warning of the dangers of taking things from strangers in bars. First you feel dizzy, then you wake up in a bathtub full of ice. You're trying to justify your action with a moral you're digging yourself deeper. <laughs> I think this is the dog. Huh, I thought there was going to be a party here. Oh, it's oh. Al it's Alma. It's Alma. <laughs> Do that again. Do that again. <laughs> Do that again. Take <laughs> uh, two. Uh, what what was right. it? We're taking it from the top. Uh, taking it from the top. <laughs> huh? I thought there was going to be a party here. <laughs> Alma, over here. Party. A small New Year's Eve, New Year's celebration. Want to stay for it? Sit. <clears throat> I I don't want the kid to burden. Oh, don't worry, you won't. You only get cola for the night, though. No alcohol. I think it's a bit late for that. <laughs> uh, it'll give us time to catch up even more. I can introduce you to some friends. Are you in? If you don't mind me. Great. Hey, Alma, come here. There's someone I want to introduce you to. We did it! 
We nice. beat the game. <laughs> so I don't know what ending we're going to get, but we'll, we'll see. One of them. One of them, yes. Stop. I don't know if we can skip this or... Hmm. Yes. Apologies also if you can hear my dog in the background. Oh, you're fine. He's decided to weigh in. Oh, he's just really happy that we beat the game, right? Yes, of course. Yes, yes. He watches his he watches the the stream from the living room. All right, he he has a smart TV. He's a he's he's one of your viewers. Yes, of course. <laughs> Let me see. I gotta pull up your stream real quick. Mm. Oh, I got an ad. Oh no. Oh no. Let me see. Can we. Not looking like we can skip this in any reasonable fashion. Well. Oh no. Oh? Oh no. Oh no? Oh, oh no. I, I, uh, I accidentally, um. Oh. Broke, I broke kayfabe. Oh no. Well, uh, while we're here, uh, you want to talk about the game a little bit, maybe? Yeah, that was a trip. Um, I like uh, the storytelling from like a bartender's perspective, where you learn about the world and the characters in it through interactions with bar patrons. is a really cool way to uh, like. It's a really cool, cool perspective on mm -hmm. uh, storytelling method. Yeah, and. Uh, I, 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 it's a, it's a, I've never played a game like this before. Like, oh, I've played, played a, I've played visual novels, but I haven't, I played a visual novel through the bartender's eyes. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was a very interesting, sad, funny, hilarious, lewd, uh, sometimes crude adventure. It was. What was your, what was your favorite character, you think? Oh my gosh. Uh, it's a tie between Dorothy and Alma. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was going to I was going to say uh, what was your favorite character to play and what was your favorite character to interact with, but I guess that's probably that's probably those two. My favorite character to play, I only had one character to choose. <laughs> well, I mean, play as in to uh, portray. Uh, okay, um, my character, I, I had I had so much fun playing Dorothy. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, sweetie. Hey, cutie. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? I did have fun. We did have fun, yes. Oh, these are these are voices. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, I don't I don't recognize this text color. She's that kind of person. Now let's sleep. You were dozing off back there. Oh, that, that was, was Gabby, probably, I think. Yeah, I was gonna say that, that was, was probably Gabby. Yes. That was probably Gabby. Yes. Almost certainly. Isn't coffee talk like this, but with a ghost coffee shop? Me and Tiberius were thinking that we'd play that next, actually, right? Yes. You're right. Good night, Jill. Coffee talk. Uh, coffee talk, and it's... I think they released Chapter 2. I think so, characters. yes. We'll play some more tomorrow. Good night. Twenty sixteen Sukeban Games. So, for those who don't know, this is actually a remake of a of an uh, of a game of the same name with updated graphics. The other graphics were kind of like rudimentary, like placeholder graphics. Hmm. Um, if you look at the wiki, you'll see the concept art for all the characters. Um, Dorothy looked more like a magical girl. <laughs> it's kind hmm. of interesting. All the characters look very different from what they look like now. So. So yeah, Vital, if you're interested, I um, we will definitely be playing that game. It's what will be my first time playing. Mm -hmm. Will it be your first time playing uh, Five Years? It indeed will. Ooh, we skipped ahead a lot, while. About Ooh. two months. Oh. I can't believe you actually made me do that sleepover thing. You didn't have to accept, you know. Shut up. I'm having a good time. See, oh, even Gabby oh. is having fun. Relax a bit. That's such cute art. They're braiding my hair. Oh my god! Yes, this god. is very good. 
Hold on. This is very cute. I want to make 100% sure that I get a, a screenshot of this. I want the No, I'm doing the same thing. I, I definitely doing the same thing. Is it F11? 12, is I think. It, is it F F12? I'm pressing F11 and 12 vigorously. Hmm. Print screen. I have a print screen. There we go. Fair enough. Yeah, so just remember that when you use print screen, it goes to your clipboard. So you'll have to copy paste it into an image editor. And if you copy anything yes. else, then it will be gone. But yes, we have Alma, who is best girl. So we got a good ending. And we got <laughs> our sister, adoptive sister. Yay. Yeah, whatever. You know, Alma, you remind me a bit of my sis. I do. How? You always manage to get a reaction from Jill. Sis always said that Jill acknowledging your presence is the best way to know she likes you. Oh, You're talking too much, Gabby. Shush! Aww. It's different with you, though. With my sis, Jill was more frustrated. Like this one time when she bought, when she bought her a shirt that... You're talking too much, little girl. A shirt that what? That had a pick of a cucumber on it. <laughs> cucumber? Um, ow! What were you doing with my hair? Sorry, it got stuck in one of my fingers. Oh, that's right. She has robotic hands. Yes, I understand that. Uh, seriously? So I'm a bit like Lenore, then. No, you just remind me of her a bit. Moreover, my sister wasn't as, um, as, as... It's ass. What, what this girl is saying that is that with your tits and ass, you could build a Lenore and a half out of the mass. That just means there's enough to share with both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Chair? I like the I like the ship teasing. Oh my god, you, you, you're talking too much, Alma. I think that was more Ooh. so a joke directed at Jill's uh, lack thereof. So yeah, the guy had a fantasy about a woman castrating him. I tried for an hour to convince him it was a bad idea, and I finally got to him. Or finally moved to the bedroom, and it turns out the guy has a weird implant where his testicles would should be. It's basically a removable ball sack. I suppose the guy really liked that fantasy and made sure he could live it out properly. <laughs> I once saw a guy at the hospital in the emergency room after having been castrated to fulfill a fantasy. Oh god. I wonder if it's the same guy. I have enough problems with just one, you know? Just one what? Um... <laughs> with just listening to one of your anecdotes. You told me about the Neo Tijuna thing, and now this. Don't you have a more... Tijuana, I think. No, Tijuana. Neo Tijuana. That's a Tijuna! You did. Ah, I need a slap. I need a slap redeem. That's for when I do something stupid. There. I slap myself. Don't you have some more subdued story? Come on, Joe. You're an adult. You can take that much. Shut up. Well, the last time I spoke to my mom, I asked her the story of her daughter. Turns out her name was Anna. Huh. And now you pretend it's a surprise? Oh my god! It all makes sense. Quiet, you. She got a, She fought against nanomachine rejection for most of her life. She even lost a girlfriend she made in the hospital to some to the same sickness. Mm -hmm. Apparently, some time after she got out of her treatment, a truck hit her and killed her. But even then, she was amazing. She was. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, she kept up, up her studies while still in her hospital. She was a self-taught honor student. 
Not only that, but she also ranked among the top five candidates in at least three colleges' ex admission exams. She also played the piano and guitar. Well, being confined to a room does that, I guess. I mean, fully able-bodied people can barely do half of that. But she practically accomplished all that by herself. And she also beat nanomachine rejection, a disease that only 2% of humans suffer, even less survive. It took a trucking truck to take her down. She was great, and to think I'm some sort of, I'm sort of like her sister. <laughs> Silly Becky. Honey, did you just say something? Huh. Huh? Mm -hmm. I did not. Weird. I suddenly heard somebody call me Silly Becky. Come again? It's not uncommon for me to hear stuff from far away and think I've heard it nearby, but... You're the only one nearby that knows my real name, so it was weird. Oh well, I was just saying, the Balzac guy. Interesting developments. Indeed. Very interesting. We got this ending? I guess this is where we part ways, huh? Sadly, I'm bound to the city. I can only falsify my identity effectively around here. I really want to thank you, Chief, for this second chance you gave me. If we ever cross paths again, I... Bill, we're leaving for like a week and a half. Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> but I... And you're taking care of my apartment. We will cross paths because I live there. Time you spend setting up a useless farewell could be used asking me things about the place. Like where the switches <laughs> and valves are. But I already know they're in that control panel you made. I like talking about that control panel. I'm proud of it. Speaking of obsessive likes. Gil, stop calling Armitage. She'll take, take care of your four ball just fine. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about me. I've never been away from four this long. I don't want to think. I don't want to. I don't. I don't what I'll do. I don't what I'll do. Ah, oh, is that that might be a that might be a typographical error. Oh, I no. don't what I I don't what I'll do. You'll do just fine. You did pretty well for at least twenty five years before finding him. Yes, but we're leaving. Oh yeah, before I forget. I left you a box on the on the first drawer of the desk, Gil. <laughs> Wait, what? You what? Hey, if he wants to bring his new girlfriend or whatever here, I want him to be ready. I'll put her in a box. <laughs> oh, uh, just one condition. If you're going to put her in a box, don't put her in my room. I have an anti-box <laughs> security system in there. <laughs> Anyway, um. uh, I don't know how to how to uh, finagle this, given given the uh, fiction I've just developed. Uh, do you want me to sp say it for you? <laughs> I mean, it's it's. I mean, it's nothing that can't be said. I'm just tr I'm just trying to think of a way to work this into the joke that I just made, and I can't. Uh, I see. I see. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I'm a who? Little sister. Then just say little sister. Yeah, whatever. First stop, Panama. We got three endings! Nice. Here you can now save heart data. Loading heart data from the title screen on our bar will let you start over from day one without keeping your items and money. Oh! Mm. Yay! Nice. New Game Plus! Is new there, Game Plus. Is there, new, is there new stuff in New Game Plus? I have no idea. Interesting. So do you want to get the ending where um, I get kicked out of my apartment? We certainly can. Let's see. Um, Gil and Dana. We got, there's five endings. We got three of them. We did. 
Uh, Dorothy and Anna, Gillian and Dana, and Alma and Gabby. And there's one with Stella and Sa Sa, mm. which we which we missed. Um, and there's one with Virgilio of all people. Hmm. <laughs> Um. Yeah, those. You want to get? You want to get the one? Uh, I, 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 does the does getting kicked out of my apartment? Does getting kicked out of the apartment change anything? Does it change how the ending goes? Oh! Oh, look, my nice. sister. Yeah. Cool. All right. What's the day where? What day is it where I have to? Um. Uh, where I get kicked out. Uh, where, where Ren is due? Do you know? Do you remember which day? I can't say that I do. Okay. Day seventeen. Um. It's. Hmm. Just let's see. Where? When would it have been? Oh. Okay. Good, good, we got it. Okay. Joe, got it. This old retractor at work. Okay. Couldn't. Let's speed through this and see if there's anything different. All right. So, yeah, do you happen to know the conditions for unlocking the various endings? Oh, my God, it's streaming, Chan! It sure is. Um, ending one and two is Virgilio and and Stella and Say. I want to get the Stella and Say ending, especially. Because mm -hmm. I know you like Say. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vital Vitriol says that there's a Kiramiki ending also. Yes, Valhalla. So, we probably would need to, like, go back and do do various okay. things again. Oh my god! We would have to play the entire game again, because yeah. the conditions for it is, uh, don't get stay drunk on day one. Mm. Do not do serve any non-alcoholic sweet drinks or for both her orders on day eight. Oh god, we have to play this all over again. Well we could just watch we could just watch YouTube. We could. Yeah, I was gonna say, other than that, would yeah, I don't know. I was yeah. I was going to yeah, ask if you wanted to work on that now or if you wanted to do that off stream or, or so whatever else. Getting getting say drunk on day one uh ruined uh, ruined the uh, chance of getting Virgilio's ending as well. Mm. Have a good lurk, Vital. Farewell. Have a fun, have fun, Jackbox. Okay. Um. Let's get the bad ending because we I uh, know at least we can get that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, right. you want to then have the other one prepared for next time, maybe. Um. Like make a save file with that ending i guess i'm sort of asking you to you know play through the whole game again on your own uh but <laughs> i mean if i get really bored if if you can remind me on like S sunday i could probably get that done right. speed through it you know i don't you know i don't want to force you to do anything you know no that's but, uh, that's a good idea i i could i could probably get it done in like 30 minutes if i if right. i but speed run it all right so yeah so all we need to get the bad ending, Kira Mickey's ending, and Virgilio's ending, and say um, and, and Stella. That's the, the stay and Stella is the Kira Mickey ending. Oh, is it? Okay. That, that, they're, they're, they're both the same thing. Ah, okay. Let's see my achievements. So, so we got that. What are we missing as far as achievements go? We have one, two, three, four. Five. We have a lot of achievements to get. We do, yes. Attend a concert, so that's one of the endings. Um, serve a certain drink to a hacker who will bring another hacker to the bar. Unlock all the songs. Oh, hold on. Jill's you've, room. you've got some screenshots. Huh? Yeah, screenshots to the left. Oh, there we go. Yay, got it. All right, cool. I am going to not worry about achievements for this game. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just going to worry about getting the endings. Right. And then we'll uh, we'll consider playing um, Coffee Top for our next collab. Indeed. Yes, I did just install that real quick. Oh, you do have it. Maybe yes. I can hop. Maybe I can hop onto your computer. Indeed. I did get a really rare ending, so uh, mm -hmm. a rare achievement. So that's cool. Let's get the bad ending. All right. And then, and then after that, I guess we. I guess we're done. All right. Uh. Here. Uh. Let me see. I didn't well, know what the, what they wanted. Well, we're going for the bad ending, so we might as well make everyone upset. Uh, these, but they're nice. They're nice. I don't want to give them something bad. Uh, they are. They are nice, and I don't. I don't want to make them upset either. But I don't know. Do we? I mean, we can. We can if you want to. You know, go in and check. Uh. uh... Okay. Sit. Give me a second. <clears throat> Sit, even. What, what do they want? Betty wants a Friday beer for a chill for Betty. Okay. Betty wants a beer. So yeah, so I suppose, uh, since we have some time here, I'll talk about my thoughts about the game. Sure. So yeah, so I enjoyed it a lot as well. There were definitely a lot of... Uh, a lot of characters who were somewhat challenging me for me to uh, voice act with my uh, general preferences. Mm -hmm. but all in all, the game was fun. Yeah, I live. I I think. I think probably the character that I liked playing the most was. Uh, I think Rad Shiva. Rad Shiva. He was the he was the, he was the funniest voice to do. Virgilia was also yeah. a funny voice. But I think, honestly, honestly, I kind of like Gil. Like, going beyond voice, he was one of my favorite characters to uh, to play as. Yeah. I liked most of them, to be honest. Yeah, uh, I mean, the story, I, I was expecting the boss and Jill to end up together at the end. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad it ended up the, the way it did, it, having an open interpretation of things. It's mm -hmm. nice. So the game might be a little bit loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Fair enough. Um, so I like the open ended. So like people won't be upset that Jill got with someone that they didn't prefer. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad it ended up. I'm glad it ended up that way. Um, because I'd like to see Jill and Aunt, uh, uh, Alma together. Mm -hmm. I think that would be. That, I think they're a cute couple. Is, uh, is Alma attracted to women? Uh, 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 is Jill attracted to Alma? Is that what you said? No, I was asking if Alma was attracted to to women in general. Not sure. I don't know. Because yeah, she's spoken many times about having many boyfriends, but she has not spoken about having a girlfriend at any point. I don't think. Not sure. I didn't pay attention to that. Fair enough. Because I'm like, I'm I'm pansexual. I don't really look at orient. I don't really consider. Uh, orientation as a factor in these kinds of things. Fair enough. A uh, piano man, piano woman. Uh, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, folks, what we're doing right now is we're getting the bad ending. Indeed. Which is not really, not really a bad ending, from what I've read. It could be worse. So, yes. Yeah, there were there were a lot of fun characters to voice. Honestly, even yeah. to a certain extent, I even I even enjoyed uh, Donovan and Streaming Shan because I liked the I liked the little puzzle of trying to construct a character for them that was less vulgar. Right. Speaking of. Speaking of. Oh my God. She wants a piano man. Yes. Um, oh yeah. On the topic of vulgarity. Yeah. So from uh, from I think it was last time. Last time, uh, we added we added one more word to the list of uh, 
or one more incident to the list of uh, Tiberius Vanderfield vulgarities, I suppose. Was it? I think it was like dicks or, or like. Or, or, no, it was um, prick. It was a yes. prick. I think the word the word was prick, the, which yes. is a, another word for uh, a, a male genitalia. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so the reason I bring the, that up is because I did want to to state for the record that I have not heard it used in that context before. I had only heard it used in the context of like a needle, such as like an injection or like, you know, the spines on a cactus or whatnot. Gotcha. So yes. So I'm still going to leave it on the, the list of Tiberius Vanderfield vulgarities on account of the fact that it, you know, in the context, I uh, do we need to save this? I'm going to save. Fair enough. But yeah, anyway, in the context, it was probably reasonable for me to assume that it was being used as a vulgarity, even if I didn't know that it was one. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. So, I will, I will put an asterisk next to it, perhaps. But I will, I will still <laughs> accept, I will still accept it as what it is, I suppose. I mean, no, no one's gonna rag you on it. I mean, no, okay. uh, of course okay. not. <laughs> of course not, but being... You know me, Sheps. Being overly specific and unnecessarily pedantic is what I'm all about. <laughs> sure to rush to Adelheid. Let's get her super drunk. So yes, all the other all the other instances uh, were the same word. This is the only one that is that is different so far. Um. Does she still want an another sugar rush? It's not listing what she wants here. Oh, she wanted a piano woman. Shit. Hmm. Well, I fucked up. Sugar rush again, I guess. Well, at least Dorothy's not the type to get too upset about anything, really. Oh, no. It's the two most vulgar women... And, and this game are together. Mm -hmm. so yeah, so I guess if we want to discuss it a little bit, uh, I've not I've not played Coffee Talk and I've not looked into it very much, but I do know that it is a similar sort of game to this, uh, except you are you are making coffee. Okay. Hence the name, I suppose. But yes. Given that I have it and you do not, I suppose we will be playing it on my computer and you'll be streaming it over my Parsec. Yeah. But yeah. Do we want to start that next week? Or would we like to, I don't know, do something else for a little time? Or would we like to get started on that right away? Um, we'll discuss it. Um, either want Fair to enough. start it next week or a week after. Um, my, I have some art I need to finish. And ha uh, having a Wednesday off can help me concentrate on that. All right. So, I if, if you don't mind, I'll take the um, I'll take the um, what was yeah, I doing? Take a take a week off. Yes, take a week off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, big beer, and another big beer. Wait. Oh, okay, I saved it. Yes. So Coffee Talk also, it seems, has something of a of a fantasy theme, as opposed to this game's uh, cyberpunk Cyber theme. Cyberpunk. Yes. yes. All right. All right. So... All we have to do is serve. Yep. All we have to do is serve um, uh, Gabby that one drink. Do we want to see what the dialogue is like if we don't serve her alcohol? Sure. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that. Do we want to treat her to the legendary frothy water? <laughs> frothy water. 
I see. Uh, I'm just reading up some stuff on stuff. Gotcha. So apparently, I keep everything that I bought previously on New Game Plus. Yep. So making so making rent is much easier. Mm -hmm. um, Blue Fairy without alcohol is what the guide says. All right. Um. Okay. Until now. I keep bringing it up, dude. Have we ever served uh, a, a uh, frothy water more than once? I don't know. Because, yeah, I know we did that one time. And I've, I've never I've never let that moment go, I suppose. Okay. Yes, Blue Fairy. Um... Blue, blue, blue fairy. Down. There you yes. Go. With no alcohol. All aged and mixed. Grab this for a sec. Mm -hmm. uh, same as before. I want to add anything. See if there's any new dollar dog. Yeah, looking the same so far. I suppose probably it would change once we get to the point where she's uh, drinking it. I'll always be here for you. I mean, I'm not Lamar, but. Gotta leave my little sister alone, Jill. Some of toast, right? Faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Um. So about uh, this drink, can I drink it? Do you like it? Take a sip. It's not bad. An adult. Oh, hmm. I didn't put any alcohol in it. We sure didn't. Soda. Give me a beer. It's out to be apple soda. You, you get back at her well. You can hide all the dildos. How do you win it over? Claire's who? She's my best friend at school, and Claire knows you're using her as an excuse, right? She covered for me otherwise. True. Will you go to her house afterwards? There's another place. Hmm. Well, it can't be helped. I live near beer and the streets aren't exactly safe and I want to stay with me tonight. Okay, so she's not kicked out yet. So she can mm -hmm. still stay at my place. Yeah. Three. Expand. Yeah, I think. As far as I can tell, the only difference seems to be that she hasn't uh, acquired the uh, uh, blush. That she had yes. last time. Sit. Yep. Yep. It's okay. nothing different. Uh, there's just no blush. Fair enough. Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. We beat the, the game only... twice. Yes, now we're going to get the bad ending. Yay! <laughs> uh, the audio is breaking up a little bit again. Of course it is. Wonderful. Of course it is. Well, this is a perfect chance to fix it then. Yep. Um, give me a second. Indeed. Go ahead and... Um, go ahead and uh, disconnect and reconnect. Yep. One sec. Ba -ba, restart. There we go. Connect to Jeps. Oh, 
Alright, oh. seems to be working well. <laughs> Alright, and then... Here we go. There we go. Yeah. Is it fixed? It seems to be, yes. Fantastic. So, yeah. So I guess for other observations about this game, uh, I definitely wasn't expecting Anna to be like an actual ghost. Yes. Uh, she, I guess, is uh, in the is a figment of nano machine particles um, from a dead from I guess a dead girl. I guess. I mean, that or could she? Her, she could just be a ghost. That's true. I mean, ghost in the shell. There's a ghost in the machine. Deus Ex Machina. Mm -hmm. Um, but clearly, she has some relation to Dorothy, so that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yes. Hmm. You have any other thoughts? Um, there is a sequel to this, right? They're making it? Um, I don't know. There, it, it, it's called, um... Oh, uh, is that the... I think, I think I might know what you're talking about now that I think about it. Was it called Nirvana or something like that? Yeah, Nirvana. A cyber yeah. Uh, cyberpunk bartender action. And it is not released yet? No, it's not All released right. yet. So yeah, there's also that one mm -hmm. coming out. So when that comes out, we can play it. All right. Um, I think it takes place in a completely different bar. Presumably. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Gabby. Yep, I also got to meet a cat boomer. Why did your boss hug you, though? <laughs> She's that kind of person. Now let's see. You were dozing off back there. You're right. Good night, Jill. Well, I have a big poster of the boss on my wall. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, the boss is in my uh, on my cell phone, mm -hmm. so I I kind of make it obvious that I am pretty thirsty. <laughs> All we're looking for is the uh, is the bad ending, and then uh, call it there. Indeed. And then th maybe maybe this Sunday. Uh, I will, um, I will speed run and get mm -hmm. the other two in and get the other two in Oh yes. And also don't forget about the, the secrets. You might want to set up save files so we can easily uh, access those. Yes. The Easter eggs, the, um, uh, the callbacks the to other games. Yes. Indeed. Wednesday, February 1st. I think I'd be evicted. They are pretty ruthless. They don't even allow you to skip one month. I was two months late already, actually. <sighs> Jill, Jill. At least it wasn't because you spent too much money on useless stuff, right? Um, yeah, about that. Right? About that. Forget it, I don't want to hear. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow you'll regroup and think what to do next. Yeah. Thanks for letting me stay here by the- Whoa! Your bed is huge! A queen size, considering I lived here with a guy for at least four years. It can get lonely, but also really comfortable. Just like single life, I guess. Hope you don't mind sleeping with me, but there's not enough space for the futon in here. I haven't slept in a mattress in fuck over two years now. That 
can be good for your back, apparently. Can? It I can assume be that's good. supposed to be. I assume. Uh, well, maybe. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't sure if that uh, was supposed to be a can't. Yeah, and bad for my morale. Anyway, good night. Nighty night. <laughs> Get the bad ending in quotation marks. <laughs> it's hot in here. Having her hug me certainly doesn't help. <laughs> I don't want to wake her up either. She looks so comfortable right now. <sighs> I wonder if Boss will let me crash in her place. <laughs> oh well, let's just try to sleep a bit and. Go for Go away. No, you piece of fur. Don't you dare sleep on my fate. <laughs> Yay, we got it. experienced new... a tragic fate. <laughs> Yay. I don't think we yeah. need to save this heart data. Probably not. But yay, we did it. We beat the game. Yeah. Woo! Yay, we got we got little sister too. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, that wraps right. it up for Valhalla. Though the, we'll be doing one more stream where we go into the secrets and other endings, mm -hmm. uh, if we ha if I find time and I remember to do so. Uh, I will do my best me... to. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll do my yeah. best to help you remember. Okay, sounds good. And. Uh, uh, tomorrow is my long ass fuck day where I uh, work for 13 hours, so mm. no stream tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I get it. I get an hour and a half break in between, but I work from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. So mm -hmm. fun, 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 fun. All right. Yes, my Anything condolences. Wanna... Yeah, I'll be fine. Um, it get, uh, that's a long as fuck day, Raven Ghost, and you came in when I was about to end stream. How you doing today, Raven? Hello, Raven Ghost. All right. Any closing statements while I look for someone to um, look so for someone to raid? Well, uh, I suppose I will say uh, I planned out my schedule this week, uh, having forgotten that I'd be out of town uh, for the next few days. So uh, this is my first and last stream this week. Uh, my okay. apologies. All yes. right. Uh, I was planning on doing some some more Ark Nights uh, tomorrow and perhaps the day after, but it seems like that's not going to happen. What? I mean, yes. Oh well. I got no one. Do you have anyone on your list? Um. Let's see. Just pulling someone, someone from my list. Uh, we have uh, Volk Highland. I have, I have I have Veem in me. That's 33. also an option. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Who did did I choose? Did I choose last time? I don't remember. Fair enough. Yeah. It's also, fine. hello, Raven Ghost. Good to see you too. Yeah. Appreciate you, Raven. Okay. Yes. So shall we flip a coin, perhaps? I have two targets in mind. Mm-hmm. I have It's Just a Goblin or V Me Me 33. Um, what were your suggestions? Um, I don't know. You can choose. Uh, I'll, just let's, take, I'll take next time. Let's flip a coin then. All right. Um, um, all right. I happen to have a coin on hand. I, I was going to pull up Google, Google. Ah, uh, all right. Fair enough. Um, as you uh, will. Uh, give me a second. I will give you as many seconds as you Flip need. A coin. Flip a coin. All right, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Heads or tail? He he heads for goblin and tail tails for VME. All right. What? Shall I? Oh right. yeah. Okay. All right. Gob goblin, it is. We're goblin, going to, it we're is. We're going to we're going to rate it to it. It is. It is a goblin. I'll I'll send it. I'll send the um. Uh, I'll send it. 
your way. Mm -hmm. It's just a goblin. If you see in my chat, that's their name. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, I need to open your chat on this computer. I have it open on my other computer currently. You're good. You're good. Ah, but actually, it won't won't send or it won't give me the previous. Oh no, yes, it did. Okay. Okay, we're good. I guess if I can read, <laughs> I don't need to copy and paste it necessarily. <laughs> anyway. All right. So I suppose I went over my schedule or lack thereof. Uh, so do you have anything you would like to say before we conclude? Uh, eat right, uh, brush your teeth and drink your milk. All right. That's it. All right. <laughs> as for me, all I have to say is the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well with the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let's get this raid okay. underway. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for lurking. And I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye. Farewell. Bye.